in this video we will work with piecewise functions and we are going to try to solve my open math problems that are asking us for the equation given the graph of the piecewise function. The piecewise function in this homework has three parts part 1, part 2 and part 3. Part 1 is for x less than or equal to negative 2, so it is the first equation. Part 2 is for x between negative 2 and 3, so it is the second part of the piecewise functions equation. And part 3 is for x is between 3 and 6, and that will be the third equation. To solve and to find these equations of these lines, we need to know the slope of the line and a point. Let's say plus a point on the line. If the slope is m and the point is x1, y1, then we can find the equation of the line using the point-slope form. The point-slope form says the equation of the line with slope m passing through the point x1, y1 is y minus y1 equals m x minus x1. So if I solve for y, I will just add y1 to both sides and the equation is y equals m x minus x1 plus y1. So I'm going to use this equation to write the three pieces of the function. So for part 1 I need to find the slope. So I'm going to find a point with integer coordinates and the other point that is given to me, that's the point negative 2 comma negative 3 and the slope between the two points is down 5 and to the right 2. So for po part 1 the slope is negative 5 over 2 and the point is negative 2 comma negative 3. So if I apply the point slope form of the line it should be negative 5 over 2 x minus negative 2 which is x plus 2 and plus negative 3 so minus 3. The second part, part 2, is a horizontal line. Horizontal lines have slope equal to 0. This means that m x minus x1 will be equal to 0 so I'm going to ignore it so the only thing I need is y1. A point that this line is going through is this point which is the point 3 with negative 4 and from that point I only need negative 4. So the equation of the line here is going to be negative 4. For part 3 I need a point with integer coordinates so the point is this point, point 3 comma negative 5 and another point with integer coordinates which is this one, point 5 comma negative 4. The slope between the two points is up 1 and over 2 so the slope is positive 1 over 2 and the point I'm going to use is 3 with negative 5 and using the formula the y will equal m 1 over 2 x minus x1 which is 3 plus negative 5 which is minus 5. 